Well, today we are honoring a very, very special person with a special fundraising drive. And that's why we're here today with Lori Morstel to talk about McKenna's books. How are you? I'm good. Thanks so much for having me, Rochelle. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us today because I really want us to understand and learn more about McKenna's story. And I know you were her aunt, so I want you to give us a little introduction as to who she was. Thank you. Um, McKenna Morse, she was an amazing human being. She was a sixth grade English language arts teacher in Eaton Rapids. She um, was a mother to a three-year-old beautiful daughter, Sadie, and she was um, a poet. She was an avid reader. She loved books. So this um, McKenna's books is one way that her family is choosing to honor her and to continue her story. McKenna was um, killed April 21st um, when a car failed to stop at a stop sign and hit the car McKenna was driving in with her daughter. So um, it's really important for us that people remember um, McKenna as well as those that other families have lost along the way. So this is one way that McKenna's books is an opportunity to continue McKenna's story um, by sharing books at Little Free Libraries across the state of Michigan. Yeah, and Laurie, thank you so much for talking about her story and showing her light right here and sharing it with other people, especially through her love of books. And I, I feel like this is such a beautiful way to honor her legacy and, and make her feel like she's still here with us. And with that, like you said, you have this wonderful book drive of yeah. hers. Uh, and talk to us about some of the books that you've already received and, and how you've been fundraising already. Yeah, thanks. So we started this just about a month ago. Our initial goal was to get 100 books to donate across the state. Mm -hmm. And we reached that goal in three days. So <laughs> wow. we, decided, we decided to keep it going. This will be a permanent um, online opportunity for people to donate books, either in McKenna's mm -hmm. honor or the honor of their loved one. Yeah. This weekend, we are doing a book drive at J. Jill in Eastwood Town Center. Mm -hmm. Super grateful to them for taking this opportunity to collect books for the project. Um, and people can go into the store this weekend if they bring in a book, there's an opportunity to get um, entered into a drawing for a $25 gift card from J. Jill. Okay. If they're not able to join us in person, they can go to McKenna'sBooks.com right. and they can donate online. And then the books will be donated, um, custom labeled with the sticker recognizing them and their loved one and donated across the state. I love that. And again, you're sharing her power and her love and her passion for literacy and reading. Mm -hmm. And I especially love the touch that you've added to each and every individual book. Can we talk a little more about the stickers that you have here? Yeah, so when um, all the books are shipped to McKenna's sister, Hillary, and mm -hmm. when she receives them, she puts a custom label in them of who donated the book. Um, if individuals don't have a family member that they want it um, donated specifically in honor of, then we place McKenna's name in it. And then the book gets distributed across the state. So her entire family is right now, we all have boxes of books that are <laughs> working to deliver um, oh, to wow. get them out there. And we have about 350 books right now that have come in. That is amazing, 350 books. And across the state, you know, a lot of times we'll run past the little free libraries in front of people's yards where people are also sharing yeah. the love of literacy and the love of reading too as well for people who may not be able to get to a library. Yeah. So you've been working on that too. Yeah, so if you've ever seen these creative little boxes, they look like fancy mailboxes at yeah. the end of people's driveways. <clears throat> um, it's a share one, take one type mm -hmm. opportunity. They're free, people put them up, um, sometimes in honor of their loved ones that passed away or just because mm -hmm. they're a book lover themselves. So you'll see them throughout the state. Little Free Libraries also has an app that you can use to find the one nearest you to, to go grab a book. I love that, and as people are donating their books, are there specific types that we're trying to bring or we're trying to collect at all? Um, we will take anything and everything. We just ask that if they're previously loved, that they're gently loved. So um, <laughs> we wanna make sure that they're still readable. Yeah. Um, but we have a lot of children's books that were recently donated, which okay. is great, because we wanna inspire that love of reading in children as well. Um, as well as adult books, of course. That's true. Why don't we talk about a few of them that we have here on the table as well? Is there anyone that was your particular favorite or one that <laughs> caught your eye and you were so excited to receive? Um, I know The Giver was one of McKenna's favorites. It's a classic oh, for English teachers. So yes. 
Um, grateful to have that one in the collection as well. Scarlet mm -hmm. Letter, another literary classic down there. Yeah. Um, but the kids' books, I think, are really fun, especially the ones coming from Michigan authors, I think, are great yeah. to share. Absolutely. I have to say, before you leave, I think I want to try <laughs> to read through this one first. Halloween Scare in Michigan. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it's all about sharing McKenna's love of reading and literacy and sharing that with other people yeah. who have felt the same way and also want to honor someone, too. Now, I know you're still in the early stages, too, but you've also started hashtag McKenna's Books. Yes. Tell me a little more about that. Yeah, so our goal, you'll see in the stickers, the hashtag is in there. Our goal is hopefully when people receive these books, they find them in the Little Free Libraries, that they go online and share where they found them, how it impacted them, if they want to share a story themselves about um, their loved ones or themselves, um, then we would love to hear where these books end up and how they're impacting the community. Awesome. Well, Lori, thank you so, so much because there is so much power I think we underestimate in sharing someone's story and even sharing someone's legacy. Yeah. So thank you for honoring McKenna that way and showing other people that they can join you and do the same thing too. Thanks, Rochelle. Appreciate it. Okay.